Imagine if you can have a website where users log in and they see a different menu, especially for them because they are a member of your online course website. That's what we're going to build today. So normally when you go to a website, we have this standard header. And this is what we normally see on a lot of websites. But what we were trying to achieve here is when members log in, we want them to have an extra menu here, which gives them access to even more information on your website. This makes navigation on your membership website or online course website much, much easier. So let me show you how to create this. But before I get started, you're going to need Wishlist member and Divi for this example. So Wishlist member has a fantastic uh, update that allows us to do this. All right, so let's go ahead and do it. So I'm gonna I'm here on my website. So what we're going to do is we're going to head over here to Divi and we need to be in the theme builder. Next, you want to click on this pencil icon on the global header because this is where we're going to make all our changes. Okay, so now as you can see, we have our builder open here. I'm going to go in the next tab of the same website and create a new menu for our members. So let's head over here to appearance menus. So the menu that I have on my website is called main menu. So we want to create a brand new one for our members. So I'm going to click here on create a menu. I'm going to give this a name. So let's call this members. Right. So now we need to click here where it says create menu. And over here now we need to add all our pages. So you know what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create my uh, custom links. But of course, you can use links over here that uh, WordPress gives you. So, OK, so my first link here, I'm just going to add a blank URL. So I'm going to say members templates. So that's going to be our first one. Add to menu. I'm going to add another one. So I'm going to call this advanced courses. Let's add another one. Uh, this time, let's call this bonuses. Add to menu. And then I'm also going to come over here to wish this member and add a log out because I want that when our users are logged onto our website, it's easier for them to log out. All right, so as you can see, I have all my links right here and this is looking great. Next, I'm gonna click here on save menu. So now that we've created our menu, I'm gonna come back over here to our builder. So what I'm going to do to make things easier for me is to just duplicate this one here and then I'm gonna go into the settings of this one. So I'm gonna click here on section settings, click on advanced, now, I want this to be visible to members in specific membership levels. So in this case, let's uh, let's add this to, say, level three. We're going to save that. Now, I'm going to go in and stylize this header and make it look different. So I'm going to go back over here, go to my background color, and I'm going to add a gray. But of course, in your case, you can add whatever color you want. In fact, you know what? Let's go with a dark gray. There we go. So what I'm going to do next now is to come over here to design spacing and I'm just going to reduce this to about zero. OK, so that looks great. Now I can go to advanced wish this member. And remember, this is set to level three. So this will only show to members who are in level three. So now I'm going to save. Now we don't need this logo, so let's get rid of that. OK, so we're going to come over here now to our menu. Click on this drop down. So here's our members menu. I'm going to go ahead and select it. So this is going to have the links that we created earlier on. And then I am going to make sure that it's visible by coming over here to design menu text. And we are going to change this text now so it's easier to read. There we go. So that's going to be our color. Now we also have social media icons here. I don't think we're going to need that. So I will have to delete that. All right. So now that we've set that, I'm going to save this. Come over here to our social media icons, get rid of that. And then I'm going to come over here now and just make sure that we have a single column. And then I'm just going to come over here and just make sure that I set my columns right. So the option I've gone for is this one. So everything is all aligned properly. OK, so now that I've uh, created this, we are good to go. I can now save my header template. So now it's time to test it and see if this is going to work now. If this works correctly, this needs to show only for members who are set to level three. OK, so I'm going to close out of here, save all changes. Now, back on my site, I am going to go over here to wish this member, go to members and just make sure that I set myself to level three. So I'm going to switch, change my membership to level three. Move to level. Yes. So now I've set my account to level three so I can see that uh, menu. Right. So what we're going to do now is uh, open our page in a new tab like this. And let's see if it shows. There we go. So it's showing. 
So if I go to any page on the site, I am going to see this menu showing on my page. So this is a very, very powerful way of uh, making sure that your members access certain uh, links on your website without disturbing any other members on your site. All right, so if we take a look here, we can see we have member templates, advanced courses, bonuses, and the ability to log out. Now, let's go back over here. I'm going to change now, or in fact, I'm going to remove myself completely from this level. And let's see now what happens now that I'm not on any level. So back over here, I'm going to refresh and boom, there we go. So as you can see, it's working perfectly. So I highly recommend that you use Wishlist Member for your online course websites or membership websites, just to make it easier for all your visitors to use your website. Ideally, you don't wanna have all these crazy links all over the place and then make your visitors try to find where to click. This simplifies your website and this is the way to go. All right, guys, that's all I have for you in today's video. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video. Take care.